Hi friends, strangers, internet. My name is Emily Hanhan. I love colorful makeup and colorful language. And we are back with another episode of new makeup nonsense. Bingo! Bwah, bwah, bwah. Thank you for joining us for another edition of this madness. Or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Emily Hanhan uh, and I do this video every couple of weeks with two dear friends of mine, Teresa is dead and Audra at home. And New Makeup Nonsense Bingo is a game that is, well, it's a video that's one part bingo game, one part New Makeup release video, and one part drinking game. Cause we like to keep it spicy and silly around these parts. I did create this concept and like I said, I launched it in collaboration with my friend Teresa and Audra has joined in the, on the party. Their videos, cause they also have videos out this day that you're watching this video, will be linked in the description box along with a whole playlist of other creators that do this video. And if you're a creator and you want to do it, consider yourself tagged. It's open for everyone to play. You can use the bingo cards that we have and the hashtags and all of that, or you can do whatever you want. If you want to be added to the playlist, just find me somewhere on the internet and let me know. Um, this, we haven't, we haven't done one of these in a couple of weeks. Both Teresa and Audra were in the midst of some pretty big moves. Congrats to them. Congrats, congrats. Cheers. Cheers to the move. Cheers to me drinking tequila today. Yeah, you've been warned. Um, but because we have not been here for a little while, there is a lot of possible things to be talking about. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you all of the possible picture releases I might talk about today. But first, if you are not yet subscribed and you like colorful makeup, you like a bitch with a lot of opinions. There's never too many opinions. Or you just like cute fat babes in general, I hope you will subscribe. If you're already subscribed or you just want to support in other ways, I also have a Patreon, YouTube membership, and lots of other ways to support that will be in the description box. Now, let me show you possible releases for this week and we're gonna get right into the fuckery. <laughs> Well, this is perfect because I was just about to say the day that you're watching this video or the day you might be watching this video is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day or whatever. Um, but the first release up also fits right into that theme. So we have a collection from Dose of Colors that has a couple of heart cheeks cream blush sticks, some heart eyes, uh, it's one eyeshadow palette, and the opposite attract two in one lip pairs. The cream blush sticks are $22. The palette, which is a quad, is $26. And the lip duo is $22. And the cream blush sticks are in the shape of hearts, which I'm gonna say, I think Dose of Colors is kind of coming for Kaja's game, but maybe better? Cause like, th that's that's a cuter, cause you get the whole stick is heart, not just a stamp to put on your, okay, okay, just me. Um, this is like a very cute, like chocolate covered strawberry kind of quad, 
very neutral, a couple of brown mattes, a pink matte, and a very pretty brownish pinky shimmer. Um, I don't know what's happening with the lip duos, but that's cute, that's cute. I, this is like, this whole collection is like, it's not for me, but I have been wondering what's going on with those of colors, where they've been. I mean, they had the gorgeous, gorgeous uh, Nima Tang collab, but outside of that, I've been a little curious to know what's happening over there. So, not for me, but I, I, I don't, I don't hate it. Who, who knew? I'm gonna call it an Anne palette though. Like it's cute, but it's a little Anne quad. But that's also just because I wanted to put it somewhere on the bingo card. Although I might have spoke too soon because next up we have another giant palette from ColourPop that's giving me glittery and vibes. So this is the Rock Candy Mega Eyeshadow Palette. 30 shades, $34. There are mattes, mattes with sparkle, trash. The world! Metallics and pressed glitters. There's also a glowing lip formula in eight shades that looks like it's I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, the lip formula probably looks like something I would be tempted by. Ultra Nourishing Formula delivers an effortless, comfortable, glossy pop of color. I, I just... <laughs> Is this all color pop? Are, are we... Are we... I... I don't, mm, I have nothing nice to say. It's a ColourPop release. Look, I complimented the lip formula. I don't trust it, cause the last uh, nourishing, hydrating lip product I bought from ColourPop was incredibly stripping on my lips. I didn't know a like glossy, lip crayon could do that but it did that um yeah we're just gonna call it color pop and release and keep it moving big drink for this one our um favorite brow brand or somebody's favorite brow brand benefit has a new boing bright on concealer it's available well, it was available February 7th for Ulta Diamond and Platinum members. Oh no, it's it, it's available. This is why I don't give y'all information because I just stumble over it. Whatever. Uh, it's $24. <laughs> and there are 12 shades. And I, I... I mean, I don't expect anything but um, sadness and despair from Benefit. So, cheers to delivering that. I hate that I think that the Boeing packaging is cute with the pencil effect. But what, what the fuck is this color range? What? It's 2022! Yo! We're, a complexion release with a terrible range is uh, I'm beating the dead horse. The horse is dead. It's been dead. Benefit is riding the zombie horse through the town to the bank. So we have some skincare to talk about. Pharmacy is releasing a new Honey Potion Plus Ceramide Hydration Mask. This is a warming honey face mask that intensely hydrates, nourishes, and strengthens the skin moisture barrier. It's an upgraded formula with ceramides and an ups upcycled apple and cica. Um, oh, it's an apple extract. Okay. I, I have to say... 
I have tried this warming honey mask from pharmacy and I really enjoyed it. And I think if I, I think it for most, th this makes sense for winter in North America. Uh, it's, it's not really winter where I live. Thank fucking God. That's, that's why I moved. But in cold weather, this mask is very, like the warming is soothing and not, painful i don't know pharmacy is one of those brands where i'm like when i have bushy skincare money I, I will dabble in pharmacy this this is an interesting mask i don't i don't know i don't know i'm intrigued i'm not gonna say everyone should buy it but like it's it was nice when i tried a deluxe sample it's more skincare though we're gonna yeah uh, trying not to sell y'all on expensive face masks or skincare and am I failing or succeeding? I don't know. No Speaking of lipstick, Fenty has come out with some new lipsticks. It's a refillable style lipstick. Um, supposedly semi-matte it's a high pigment low maintenance uh they did reds and neutrals designed to be refillable semi-matte creamy formula hugs lips with a smooth plush texture and long lasting iconic wear so i heard that you have to buy the lipstick and the refill separate okay so it does seem to be the case th that the bullet itself is like 20 or 22 dollars and then the case is 13. so basically fenty is releasing 35 dollar lipstick i don't know how i feel about that it, 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 it yeah, I don't, I don't feel great about this. I, d I don't, I don't. The color range is like very basic, obviously, or maybe not obviously if you're new here. I, I discovered the Mademoiselle formula, especially in some of the weirder colors, and I really like it. And so this color story doesn't, ins I don't, I, look. I say pretty regularly, Fenty is 50% overhyped trash, 50% good or or uh, good good release, uh, good 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 releases, <laughs> and I feel like this might go into the overhyped, under deliver category. Look, look, there are so many indie beauty brands. Like you want. You want a glossy, satiny, creamy formula. There's Prapa. There's, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, it just kind of feels like a cash grab. Yeah. Even though refillable lipsticks has totally been one of those things where I'm like, yes, do it. Give me more refillable makeup. But $35. <sighs> okay. So. Kosas is joining the foundation game. Well, they, well, they're they adding to the foundation game. They have released a revealer skin improver foundation with SPF 25. Um, there are 36 shades. It's $42 each. It's a clean, skin-loving, medium coverage SPF 25 foundation and treatment with hyaluronic acid, niacinamide peptides, squalene, vitamin B5, arnica, and caffeine. Medium coverage with a natural finish. And it is available on Sephora now. I mean, yeah. It's fine. I don't. Yeah. Mm. Look, I uh, I've been having a conversation, a, a video idea conversation with with my friend Yolanda, and um, I 
have a hard time getting excited for Kosas because they're clean beauty and because their makeup does not last like not on my face like in the container and I just have a hard time getting excited for foundation again from a clean beauty brand okay S say hello to the green goblin here today you know saying hi of course of course this green goblin is excited about the new odin's eye palette it is the it's another of the legendary diversa line which i guess I think it's, uh, whatever, it's a code name for collaborations, I guess. The Gila Palette, which is a collaboration with Odin's Eye and Angelica Nykvist here on YouTube. Congrats to Angelica. This is a 16 pan palette and it's like half green and then another quarter pink and quarter like grungy tones. Look, like... There's like a matte yellow, a matte olive, a really bright shimmery green. There's a multi-chrome. There's some deep like grungy tones and some hot pinks. I, I think this palette is beautiful. I think this palette is beautiful. I do, I do. Um, I'm not picking it up uh, currently because life but it is uh it's available today based on the release yeah february 14th at 4 p.m pacific standard time it's 44 dollars odin's eye tends to ship a lot of places uh i think it's beautiful i definitely have my eye on it i'm going to be watching reviews and uh probably drooling so uh yeah i'm gonna say put it on my face because i do i see those tones and i want it on my face i do but uh i'm i'm not right now but maybe 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 it's a really really palette like half green palette mm, of course of course of course i want it <laughs> Speaking of a green palette, the uh, randomizer has a sense of humor. Yes, I have anthropomorphized the randomizer. It makes it more fun for me. So we have a new uh, palette from Urban Decay, the Wild Greens palette. It's $44. This palette is the same cost as the Odin's. Okay, okay. It's a 12 pin nature inspired earthy neutrals and mild, I, I mean, I mean, wild greens. All new California inspired shades and shimmers, mattes, and metallics. It's a vegan formula with a hint of avocado oil. Audra, stay the fuck away. Not that you would have spent your money on this. Uh, and there's a, there's a, there's a mascara. Um, um, oh god, the post right before that one is the baloney face mask, and all I have to say is that Teresa and Alex have covered that. Okay, well, look, I've heard a lot of people say, you know, for Urban Decay, it's not that bad, it's it's still bad, it's still not, not not great not not good i why peachy neutrals why why peachy coppery neutrals with greens i do i mm, uh, i don't mm, it's not wild this is not like oh of course of course this is urban decay's interpretation of greens but like can can we can can we stop I don't, I don't even, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, 
at least it's not a naked earth palette or something. Oh my god, I said those words into existence. That's gonna happen. It's, uh... But it just... <sighs> Urban Decay no longer makes me sad. They do continue to give us nothing, though. And I, that... Uh, okay, that does make me sad a little bit. Just, just, just... So, Makeup Revolution again. Um, there is a new collection inspired or, no, no, celebrating the month of love that is a Batman and Catwoman themed collection that has eyeshadow palettes, a cream cheek palette, a highlighter palette, lip stuff. But like, okay, so I knew I had heard about this before, but I couldn't remember why. And I was like, why does this make me feel annoyed? It's because everyone in Alphabet Mafia, everyone that is not, I mean, not everyone, whatever, people that care, were like, why not a Harley and Poison Ivy themed collection? Because obviously, there goes my heart and I I know little to nothing about superheroes, but as somebody that is queer as fuck, that would have been maybe cool to see. This just feels like more makeup revolution throw up. Yeah, I, go away, go away, makeup revolution, please. Wait, I'm, 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 I, I dismissed Makeup Revolution too soon, obviously, because there, there, there's more to talk about. They have some new six pan eyeshadow palettes, um, the Power Shadow Collection. They are $10 each or six pounds. They're going to be available mid-February. And there is a palette called 90s Baby. There's one called Ready, Set, Go. There is one called... I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so, The next three, I'm sorry. D D <laughs> there's a palette called Della Della Bills. There is a palette called Manifest Boo. And one called Bougie AF. Why? What? What? These names? What is manifest? Boo! I I don't care if you're saying you're trying to manifest a partner or whatever. That does that's not a that's not a phrase. That's not a phrase. That's not. That's not a what? 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 I could have almost said these were kind of cute, but the the theming, the 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 black scent, the the I, but there's also something about these that like activate the nostalgia in me like the clueless plaid and the I don't ah I who's surprised that makeup revolution has broken my brain but why why <laughs> why do we have to do this oh okay Okay, we're gonna, <laughs> we're, <laughs> I can't. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but I also think that Glamlight has released some cute things that are in ridiculous packaging. Glamlight has a new collection with Hershey Kisses. 
It looks like there is a sponge. There's a lip gloss set. But it's, it's the little palettes. There are four palettes. There is the Lava Cake palette, which is all pink tones. There's the Special Dark palette, which is all purples. There's the Milk Chocolate with Almond palette, which is warm nudes and golds. There is the Milk Chocolate palette, which is chocolatey nude tones, browns, and metallic shimmers. And there's a Cookies and Cream palette, which is soft blues, creams, and metallic tones. Look, I, I, I don't actually want any of these because I, I don't actually personally like the packaging, but it is cute. Here's the thing. The fact that they went as dark and smoky as they did with some of these color palettes, I have some, res like, I think it's actually a really pretty blue palette, pink palette, purple, like, they look nice. They do. I love a six pan palette. I don't I don't want these in particular But they make sense. They look cute. They're themed I don't know what that clap was but I also don't know what that noise is <sighs> Okay we gotta talk about Urban Decay again. Urban Decay has revealed a new Stay Naked Quickie Concealer. It's coming soon. It, it okay, here's, here's, so, so something that happens sometimes in these videos is that I will comment on imagery that I have. And then like in the comments, people will say, oh, that brand actually has more colors. They just didn't show it or whatever. If you are showing marketing image, show all the fucking colors. Because if this is it, Urban Decay, you've, you should know better. What? Because if this is the, the full rain, I, 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 if this is the full range of what you're offering, this is fucking terrible. If this is not the full range, you made a big fucking mistake because I don't give a fuck about what's to come or what you're going to show in the future because this is the... Okay. We're just going to move on because, like, I... The... The... Mm. So, so we have a new collection from Kaleidos. We have the Smoky Nostalgia Collection. This is a modern twist on classic beauty. Relish the pandemonium of this exhilarating series, celebrating provocative new shades for the eyes, cheeks, and lips. So it's available as of tonight or tomorrow, February 15th. This collection has two quads. It has like five, I think, blushes and four new lip clays. The quads are like a smoky, neutral, like gray. There, there's a gray smoky quad and then there is a brown quad. The packaging, the like, the, the of course the aesthetic is beautiful. The blushes, I, I am, I'm a little bit salivating at them. Um, I'm not picking anything up at launch, but drunk me, drunk me would buy multiple blushes like very 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 easily i think this is beautiful i think this collection is not necessarily an emily collection but 
if quads are one of the new palette sizes that they're gonna go into, I'm curious to see what should come in the future. I'm also curious to know if these quads are magnetic because that's some very pretty packaging for some single eyeshadow action. You know, all the things I think about. I think this is very pretty, but it, it doesn't tempt me. I mean, the, well, okay, the, the blush is tempt me. But the shadows, I'm like, I can, I can wait on, but I understand it for the brand. I do actually, I do think that for the brand, these are two very smart quads to release. And I'm intrigued to see how they approach blush the second time around. So I have to say the marketing imagery though, the advertisements are, they are beautiful. <laughs> We have some new shades of the Patrick Ta Major Beauty Headlines Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. Uh, so these blushes are $34. They have a new pink called She's a Doll, another new pink called She's Vibrant. She's Blushing, which is like this beigey, kind of rosy toned. And She's Baked, which is also described as beige, but it looks kind of like a... a bricky beigey rose and then there's some new plumping glosses i ugh, the the pink the pinkest pink i okay i don't i don't like the formula the formula is not for me but these colors are beautiful i have to say i have to say i i think it's very pretty yeah yeah there's no spot on the bingo card for it i think these colors are very pretty the formula for me is is a no but these colors especially those like very juicy colors for the coming spring beautiful Ooh, ooh. okay okay so um there's there are definitely brands out there that I'm like I'm I'm itching to try I'm I'm, I'm, I'm watching and I'm <sighs> LYS is a brand like that for me and they have released a new uh, triple fix brightening concealer it's a rich ultra creamy concealer that helps visibly brighten conceal and nourish the complexion with a skin like finish full coverage natural finish twenty five shades. $18 and it's available now on Sephora and on their website. Um, I am so tempted by this. Look, I've heard that the foundation is really nice. I've heard a lot of things from LYS are really nice, but I'm a whore for concealers. I love concealers. I love trying them out. Okay, I'm, I'm really getting into my feelings about concealers. Thank you, tequila. I am intrigued to hear more. I'm intrigued to know more about OIS if like regular people, not just influencers and creators are enjoying their products. I know they're also kind of in clean beauty and I don't know how I feel about that, but like, can see, why? Why do I, it doesn't, I don't have to, it, I don't have an explanation, I don't need an explanation. Um, look, I'm not actually buying this, but because I am a brat and I feel like saying this i'm going to say of course i'm buying this i'm i'm just warning you whether or not i hit bingo by the time this drink is done doesn't matter because i'm gonna hit bingo i um i i i i i just threatened that like no matter if i've actually hit bingo by the time this drink is done that i'm done um but then I just, I just saw the newest randomizer pick and I, we're done. But I, I just want to 
quickly detour and say the Viseart mini editorial brights palette I I am into it I, I, I might have to buy that might have to pick that up in the mini size I think that's super fucking smart also I think the color up heart blushes are really cute based on their packaging really cute and also and also one last thing before I I actually talk about the last last product but Givenchy has released new pressed prism libre powders and yes yes there there is a um what oh Okay, I don't know what that is, but there are a couple of pressed powders, and look, look, I've heard multiple people talk about how lovely the loose Prism Bear powder is, but like, no, I don't want it. But if the loose powder is, or the pressed powder is close to the loose, maybe. Okay, those are all the things that my makeup goblin brain wanted to talk about before before I close this shit down. So the product that I was like, oh, we're done here is the um, new Sunset Stripped Collection from Too Faced. And there is a Born This Way Sunset Stripped eyeshadow palette for $50. And I don't know if any of these are new or if they're the same shit, but Chocolate Soleil Bronzers, Lip injection, maximum plumping gloss. Get away! <laughs> it's for the summer 2020. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But and 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 it's showing. You know, uh, February 10th to be released on March 31st. So you can plan for this basic as fuck neutral palette but like can we look every single collection that Too Faced has feels so played out whether it's the chocolate bar or the tutti fruity or the peach or the born this way they all feel like collaborations or themes that won't die and just seeing that they have like sunset stripped collection doesn't need to be born this way also like just in what why why do why does it have why couldn't it <laughs> I'm obviously intoxicated and stumbling over thoughts and words, but I just have to say, like, I understand why these brands exist. I understand that people are still buying from them. I get it. But I don't. Like, I... I understand the ethos of Too Faced, but... Too Faced is not the brand to be talking about born this way. Just just give it up, please. Or don't, and I'll continue to roast you. It's okay. But <laughs> I'm definitely calling that a product that won't die. And that gives me double bingo. Fuck yeah. <laughs> we have come back after a slightly longer break from New Makeup Nonsense Bingo with a bit of a bang, maybe. I don't know. I feel like a lot of my feelings today were... Ooh, yay, indies. Ooh, boring. Leave me alone. But I enjoyed this as per usual. I also have hair on my face. 
<sighs> Go away. Okay. And it's not gone, but I just need to finish filming. <laughs> if you enjoyed this though, definitely leave a comment, like the video, let me know about a release that sparked your interest or maybe one that you just want to roast in the comments because I'm here for all of it. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm glad that we're back and uh, we're not going anywhere. And I will hopefully see you again real soon because I do more on this channel besides new makeup nonsense bingo, even though I get why you might not think otherwise. But like, there's a lot here to explore. So I hope you will check out my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a thumbs up or uh, any other way to show me that like you enjoyed this in any way, shape or form. But most importantly, take care of yourself better today than you did yesterday because you are worth it. I'm just sighing at the finger gun situation that just happened, whatever. Bye friends. I am such a fucking mess. <laughs> I gotta take this joker off. It's actually kind of choking me. Uh. <laughs> or maybe my burp was just choking me. No, I think it was both. Eh. Eh. Oh, relief.